Welcome to today's Clash of Clans video where we are looking at the top three attack strategies at Town Hall 9. Coming in at number three, I can't believe I'm seeing it guys, this strategy is beastly but there are better strategies, it is none other than the Hog Riders. Make sure to let me know down in the comments which attack strategy you think is best, leave a like if you find this one helpful, and of course, subscribe for lots more Clash of Clans. So the Hog Riders, how do you want to do it? You first need to set that funnel. A lot of kill squads will be similar in these strategies, but with the Hog Riders, you tend to do that with some golems. With the wizards behind, then you have your heroes and bowlers pressing through the middle and you want to hollow out most of the base with this. Enemy CC and the enemy queen are kind of important to take down but a lot of time what we aim for is actually get most of the way through the base so take two or three golems just use the hog riders on the back end. Now you can see your troops in the middle will kind of migrate a little bit across the base it's not always easy to predict where they will go you will see the queen came up to the north on this one so the hog riders came in they were able to get some free swipes onto that building onto them defenses because they were tanked by the queen so think about that guys you can alter where the hog riders come in maybe have a plan a and b sometimes depending on the base layout you have to go with your original plan obviously but think of whether you can adjust it on the fly always a good one then you have them heels on the back end for the hog riders that all depends on how many hog riders you're taking how much you're needing them to take out you might take two jump spells and a rage spell for your bowlers for example if you're pushing further through the base and just one heal spell on the back end or even none depending on what you're taking but if the hog riders have a pivotal role on the back end like they did in this one and you probably want to take some heal spells for them as well wizards as well try and set that kill squad the funnel effectively so that you don't have to use all of your wizards you can bring some in with cleanup but you should be good with the hog riders you shouldn't have to worry too much about time they are beastly what about attack strategy number two well this has been my favorite attack strategy at town hall 9 for the longest time and it's still incredible it is still incredible it is the lava loon now a lot of the time the objectives you want at the start are similar and you could come in identical to how the hog rider one was placed it just depends on the defenses on the back end is a hog rider attack versus a lava loon more efficient however with the lava loon you kind of need a few key objectives the queen is a must it's the one smack bang in the middle of the base here and the enemy cc a queen charge tends to be very efficient to get that done you can really plug her in there and take down exactly what is needed now carving an area of the base is equally important so you'll see all of the defenses down to the south of the base will go down here that's equally important on the hog rider attack as well actually is carving that path for the troops and all we mean by that path is you know exactly where them defense targeting troops the hogs or the balloons you know exactly where they will go you can control the path thing of them it's more predictable there is less risk bringing the queen in from the bottom just so delicate with them wall breakers to get down that enemy cc obviously you could see the king and wizards on the right hand side just to help the queen continuing to go in you must get that funnel correct for the queen very unfortunate with the wall breakers to get through that middle compartment but once the health is um, down on them walls the queen can start battering through anyway she's going to be targeted and into the middle she goes you can now see irrelevant of how many wall um wall wreckers irrelevant of how many air defense are left up you can still get the lava loon to work it's just whether your lava hound is going to race over and you're going to have to use more haste spells for your balloons to catch up or whether you're going to be able to be patient and have the lava hounds tank onto the air defense but the pathing of the balloons is important so you'll see the balloons from the south didn't really need any spells to help them at first the the lava hounds were there because of them air defense as they move towards the back still don't really need them but we had planned to have a rage spell for this back end just in case there were any issues you can see that single balloon coming across to tank for the wizard tower always important 
And the good thing about the Queen Charge again is look at her ransacking the middle of that base. She's helping with cleanup. She's still alive. Any defenses that might get left over, you might get a little bit unfortunate. You might just mess up the Lava Loon deployment a little bit. The Queen can still help out. Boom, three stars. Amazing at Town Hall 9. I haven't mentioned up until this point all attacks by White Temple. We are recruiting guys, so make sure to join our Discord via the link in the description. But moving on to the number one attack strategy at Town Hall 9, the buff gave them just the edge on the Lava Loon for me, it is the Witches. And we're going to show you two different Witch attacks, two different kind of variations and discuss the base layouts for it. So you can see this first one with the Witches on either side of the base and the heroes pressing through the middle. Now, do you want to use healers? Do you want to use a golem? That all depends on the air defense. How protected will the healers be? You can see on the left side, yes, they are going to get in range of some air defense, but actually they've taken out a lot of point defense before they even get to that point. So we're still getting good value out of them healers as we are on the right hand side. Notice how the jump spells coming through the middle provide access to these areas with the wizard towers. That would be a real trouble if they were to lock onto the witches on the outside. Now, actually, you can see that a few bowlers do walk on the outside. Funnel wasn't quite perfect. Sometimes this happens, guys. However, this just shows the power that you have. Coming through the middle, the heroes still get the job done. Just takes a little bit longer. But basically, the objective is there. You need to hollow out the core. Basically, just leave it so you have the defenses on the perimeter at the opposite side of the base. Obviously, if your troops can get through to take that out, that is the optimal thing to do. But the witches coming around the outside can often loop all the way around and take that out. Sometimes... As you will see in the next attack, you can bring your queen around the outside as well because she is phenomenal at smacking them defenses on the back end of the base. But just look at how many witches are left over. This is what becomes beautiful at the end of the raid. As the defenses go down, the witches continue to spawn them skeletons, just more and more of them, and all of a sudden, they overwhelm the base so much that you can smack the three stars. I've been talking to some experts using this strategy, and their hit rate has gone through the roof following the implementation of that fourth skeleton from the witch. From the Town Hall 12 update, let me know your favorite part of that update. Let's move on to the second witch strategy before we wrap up this video it's still the witches guys it's just altering it a little bit for the base so as you can see air defense straight away on this far side so the healers might not be the best option the queen has much better reach so she can actually take that out and she could continue there's a lot of point defense on the outside so she's going to get good value from that so we're actually going to let her do her thing on that other side queen is going to loop around the base with a golem to help meanwhile on the far side here we have the healers instead of the golem because they are free from air defense now you need to be able to jump through the base as well you don't want your troops in the middle getting stuck poison spells are a must to get them troops down in the enemy cc but look at how beautiful these jump spells get placed in order to give us access right the way through we do get a little bit stuck in the base but honestly like i said if you can hollow out that core your queen look at her coming around the outside you can see how she's going to get to these far defenses and take them out there is a tesla farm pop near the town hall so they do get taken out down to the bottom here the witches but it doesn't matter we have the rest of the troops to come down sometimes on these fresh hits that's all what it is about finding them traps you could then alter the plan a little bit bring in some troops to maybe tank that as the witches got there but like I said, it doesn't matter. If you do the strategy correctly, the witches are the best strategy. They are beastly. So many of them left over. Queen continues to walk around and the bowlers and the king there, with that ability left over, are going to be enough to take down that Tesla farm anyway. Very, very strong strategy. In my opinion, they are the top three. The Hog Riders, the Lava Loon, and the Witches. Like we said, it's always that cliche of, depending on the base layout, one strategy might be better than the other, but... In my opinion, the Witches are now the best attack strategy at Town Hall 9. If you are interested in joining Elite Gaming or White Temple, you can see 
on the screen the requirements for hero levels make sure to join the discord server that is on there as well but that is going to wrap it up for this one i've been your host judo sloth and until next time peace out